Hello, I'm sitting on my floor once again. I made some decisions today. I went to Shoppers and I spent like 50 bucks. So I guess, and you might ask, how did I only spend 50 bucks? I just bought all the Essence products because that's the kind of girl I am. Um, I don't like spending too much money. So we're gonna test them. I also got this Revolution palette for like $7 and I think it might be fun. Getting into makeup again. I'm, I love this mirror. Look at how cool this bitch is. <laughs> Why didn't I think that through? <laughs> now everyone knows that I don't film on a real camera. <laughs> Let's start with, I'm not gonna do foundation. I've been trying to go a bit easy on my face these days because I had a really bad like hormonal breakout um, for my period and it like fucked up my cheeks and this is like the first day that my skin is starting to feel clear um, but it's still not really there so I'm not gonna touch that we're gonna start with this essence primer they tape it to like stop people from uh, opening it and like testing the product I'm gonna be honest, I'm a fucking delinquent. Um, if it's a lipstick, I will take the tape off in the store and look at the color. Uh, I won't even, I won't really swatch it, I'll just look. Because like, I wanna know what I'm buying and then I put the tape back on. Sue me, sue me. Where is my lip liner? I'm almost certain I bought one. I did buy a lip liner. I'm excited to try it. This is the one I opened in store to like see if it was the right shade. It wasn't as dark as I wanted, but we're gonna try it anyway. Some Essence Soft Precise Lip pen lip Pencil. It looks like this, so I was like, okay, it's like a little light, but I'll try it. it I wanted the, I wanted like a brownish pink lip liner because I don't have any of those, but we'll try it. I also got a, another one of these because I lost mine um, in a bit of a darker shade that I'm used to, so that'll be exciting because like, the one I had before was a little too light for me. Q20 minutes of me just taking the tape off of these. I know shoppers doesn't want their products stolen or used, but hey man, your products are still gonna get stolen. Hate to break it to you, but it's not that hard, allegedly. Huh. Yeah, this color will look good on me, I think. Let's whack up some primer now. Prime like a boss eyeshadow base. I'm not, hey man, this is pretty obvious. I'm not fucking sponsored by Essence. They're just cheap. It's kind of chunky, but at least it doesn't have like a weird chemical smell. Actually, it really doesn't. That's awesome. And it, it's clear, like it really is. It says for all skin types or all skin tones. And I mean, you do not have to be white to wear this. This shit is, I mean, I don't know. For me, it works. I mean, it's also just an eyeshadow base, so like, even if it did have a tint, I imagine it wouldn't um, be too much of an issue because shit goes on top. But I don't know. Maybe one of you guys in the comments that um, has used this can tell me if it's like better on darker shades or not. I have no idea, but I imagine clear is good. Ooh, also, I'm, I got kind of excited by this. I don't know why. It's just this, like, hardcore, like a tinted lip balm. It does have a bit of a fake fruity taste, but it's not that bad. It just kind of reminds me of, like, Lip Smacker. So we got the primer on. Now, I'm really fucking excited about this palette because I love blue eyeshadow. I love green eyeshadow. This one has tape, too. Okay, why am I surprised? For my makeup, I watched this video once that kind of changed my entire outlook on makeup. Oh my god, open. Look at how fucking cute these are. I love this color, but I really love this. Like this on the, on the lid, and then this, like this inner lid, this outer lid, this inner corner, and then maybe some of this on the bottom. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I watched this video once where this girl was just doing her makeup. Her argument of makeup is that it should only be used to enhance you and that it's okay to not wear concealer, not wear foundation. If you have a breakout, 
it, just ignore it because the point of makeup is to enhance you, not to cover and like hide you. And yeah, like it's fine if you want to wear concealer, but I think the point that she was trying to make is you shouldn't feel the need to cover yourself because you're beautiful. Your face is beautiful. You're only trying to enhance it and feel confident. I totally agree with her and I'm gonna try and like find the video. Uh, she got me into no foundation, like just primer, like I don't have primer right now. She got me into no foundation, liquid blush. She uses like liquid highlighter, liquid bronzer and all that and I think it's awesome and then just like a setting spray and I think it's cool. I don't care if you guys think it's like noob shit. I, hey man, everyone does makeup different. So I'm gonna do the crusty girl, hot girl thing where you um, do this when it's like dried out first and then you do the new liquid one on top because I'm a crusty hot girl. Really crusty. Oh, just a perfect match. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that side again. Dude, get into this. Get into this, like, eyeshadow. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I broke it. This, my sister got for me. She went to Italy, and she brought me these Kiko Milano, Kiko Milano um, eyeshadows, and I love it so much. They're not, like, necessarily high quality, she said, but they work really well for me. They're like my best eyeshadows because I'm a drugstore girly. I'm a drugstore girly. <laughs> so this is like high end for me. She like went to the Kiko store, okay? This I've been fucking obsessed with this color. Uh, Chapel Roan made me even more obsessed because I feel like I can like have a bit of, a bit of Chapel Roan essence whenever I wear this. I feel like Chapel Roan kind of just is changing my fucking life right now. Well, she's helping me through a lot of feelings I'm having, so there's that. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of blue eyeshadow and like a dramatic wing, and just listening to Chapel Roan and just feeling things. Yeah, oh, this is so cool how it like lights my face. Okay, <sighs> just like having issues right now, like women issues, you know? Okay, we got like enough of a wing going. So, I guess like it's okay to talk about vaguely on my channel, but yeah, I've been dealing with some shit. When Good Luck Babe came out, like these feelings that I've been feeling for a while kind of really came to the surface. That is such a fucking banger of a single. Like, I'm not even a pop girly. I'm not even a pop girly. I listen to like System of a Down on the reg. Some, what's the other one that I love? Deftones? That's some horny music, but it's good. Chapel Roan was playing on like the radio a lot and I was like I need I need red wine supernova in my playlist and then I realized that the rise and fall of a Midwest princess is a fucking banger and I was like listening to it the past three days and I, I have fucking Chapel Roan fever now I was like mourning the fact that I didn't discover it in September when it came out because what the fuck, you know? I've been going all this time without the rise and fall of a Midwest princess and what the hell. I'm just glad I could be there for the good luck babe craze because that song, dude. Oh my god. Hey, maybe that's too much green. It's fine. We loaded it up. Okay, so it's Fallout City, population me. So that's one thing I don't love about this. Maybe I loaded it up too much. But, oh my god, you see that? Jessie Page came out as a lesbian. I watched her, uh, her video. It was extremely intense, and her experience was really sad, and I could also really relate to it in a lot of ways. I still think I'm bisexual, I just wanna say that, but, or queer, like I'm going by queer. But her, like, trauma uh, was really intense. And I kind of felt sorry to hear it, but as someone who can relate to that, I know that feeling sorry to hear it doesn't do anything, but just damn, Jessie, like, I can really appreciate, uh, she's not watching this, but if I were speaking to her right now, I would say I can really appreciate that you claimed your trauma in that video and you said, that's not why I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian because I was born like that, but unfortunate things happen to me and it doesn't make me a lesbian that I had a bad few experiences with men. 
And hey man, I'm so like, damn, good on ya. Don't let those fuckers diagnose you uh, with fake lesbian or like tell you that your trauma's the reason that you feel this way and you're just like, bro don't t let people tell you that you're broken basically because that's so fucked up and uh, you get tired of hearing it. So when she made that video, I was like, oh my God, I was watching that last night. So yeah, just like a lot's been happening uh, with me, with my like media timeline. Uh, Jesse Page comes out as a lesbian, Chapel Roan releases the music that is really uh, intense for me and I'm just like, damn. Why am I talking about this? There was this girl from a couple years back and I'm having a really hard time getting over her. So like Chapel Roan's music is um, really bringing that out of me and it's just like making it hard. I am using a bit of the Annabelle because this primer's like not the best, but it's fine. Essence primer's okay, like the eyeshadow stuck pretty well, but it's it's just, I like the one in my skin tone. I just do. I'm gonna go in with a bit of this under my eyes, maybe build it up to this eventually, but I'm gonna start with this. I don't think these colors are named. No, they just have numbers, so. It's giving green, it really is. Um, the number is six, so I just used three on my, on my lids, and now I'm using six underneath. This came in a palette uh, that I don't have anymore. It was called Peachy, and none of the colors suited me. Do I regret spending 50 bucks at Shoppers? No. Um, I just needed to do this. I wanna go to like a gay bar soon and just kind of let loose. <laughs> So, I needed some loud fucking makeup, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with number four. And I'm just gonna use my finger, cause fuck you. Gold doesn't really, doesn't usually do it for me, but for a metallic green look, I like it. So the fun thing about makeup is I know that I don't do it the way that I'm like supposed to, but there's literally no rules, and I think that's so fun. Damn, she's shiny. <laughs> okay, I'm into it. Number five, right under my eyes a little bit. Anyway, this is like some pretty basic shit. I really don't think I'm a lesbian. Though, sometimes I feel like it would be much simpler to just be on one end instead of my fucking, um, sexuality feeling like a game of tennis but you know here we are before this video i was watching chronically online girl explains challengers lore by nicole raffi a certified local hot youtuber i don't think she's local to me but i don't even know where my setting spray is so <laughs> oh that's pretty much the eyeshadow now we're gonna go back in with the eyeliner i'm gonna try this 24 ever ink liner yeah, I don't know. I'm wrong. I don't think that women are- it's not- it's not even that women are complicated. It's just that lesbian identity and, like, queer identity is complicated. So some people are in their heteronormative thing, compulsory, compulsory heterosexuality thing. Some people just go back to heteronormativity because it's safer. Some people just don't like each other. Some people- are not over their ex and I feel like for lesbians it's really like hard to just it's just hard to figure out for me I'm not saying that everyone is hard to figure out if they're gay but like damn I'm having a tough time especially on dating apps like I put my thing to just women and men come up it's like what the fuck Okay, so the line is really good, you know? That's like pretty fucking thin. So now I guess we'll do my brows, my new pencil that I'm excited to use. Dude, I love that most of this stuff was like an average of $4. Fuck spending money on makeup. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret, a little crusty hot girl trade secret. I don't own brow gel. I do, however, own lip balm. Fuck you guys, telling me I gotta buy a bunch of makeup. I just do this and I do not care. This fucking green is slaying and slapping. I'm so glad I bought it. 
first I feather out my hairs and then I push them down a bit on the top. Then I get my big old tip and I just fill in where I don't have that much hair, which is the bottom of my brows. This is my color. That's fun. The other reason I don't like to use foundation is I have freckles and I like them and I don't want a foundation to cover them and I also don't want to use a freckle product because I have them so I don't want to like do that. I am going to use my eye primer on my lips, that's something I do. You could use concealer, I just think this sticks better. And then I'm going to go in with the pencil that I bought and I'm going to be excited about it. If it's my color, it's not really my color. Bro, why did I even buy this? I can't tell if it shows up, but it's not really showing the way I want it to, so I say fuck it, and we try the eyebrow pencil on my lips. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I never done this before, but I do have to say that my lips look like in the, <laughs> they look like they're in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure art style. That's okay. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try the, um... The fuck is this? Maybelline Lipstick in Pink Flare. Now, we're gonna throw on this new lip gloss, which this I've had for a while. I like this color for me. Um, this is in Gold Dust, number eight, and it's Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. I love a good uh, glittery lip gloss. I was never really like that until I was given this lip gloss, um, Glow Skin Beauty, and it's like $20, $30, something like that. I think it's 20 bucks. So I'm not gonna buy another one, so I'm just looking for something cheap that gives me a similar. Also, I don't think you're supposed to do this, but I totally added olive oil to this. <laughs> Cause like I wanted it to, whatever. Don't don't tell me I did something wrong, please. I already did it. I'm still gonna use it. Oh yeah, another thing. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. I like it. Um, the other thing that's fun is I'm neurodivergent, so I get sensory issues with certain lip glosses if they're like plasticky. Also, liquid lipstick does that for me, so I have to use creams. Um, and if a lip gloss has that like plasticky like that sticky feeling and it's not actually like a liquid feeling if it feels cakey I hate it and I can't wear it so that's another thing I use as a test I feel like using my brow pencil was a little too dark around the lips um, I kind of just wanted to give myself an ombre effect and it was just a little dark it's a little sticky but it's not that bad any of you do this bullshit Like, I don't know. If it works, it works, am I right? I'm not telling you to put lip gloss on your face like that, but I don't think there's a problem with it. I don't like buying things. <laughs> so if I can look cute without buying a bunch of shit, that'd make me feel better. Look at all the freckles that I didn't have to cover up. Like, I fucking love freckles. And it's summer, so mine are coming out. Um, I have this really good um, sunscreen. It's this... Clarins sunscreen that is good for protecting your face from like aging and whatever like I don't really have an anti-aging routine but I know that sun I know that sunlight isn't great for your face so I use it um I can't put it under my eyes uh because you're not supposed to do that with sunscreen so I get freckles right under my eyes and I think it's cute and I like it I also get them here which is fine like my face looks a little shiny on camera but it really shouldn't because it's not in real life. <laughs> Damn, she's bouncing. I'm feeling good. Let's just say I'm feeling good right now. Green is good, dude. I like green on me. I've decided it's nice. I'm gonna go put on a cute top to like match the vibe, so I'll be right back. I wore this top to Shoppers Drug Mart and I don't wanna hear it. Like, I'm actually really into corset tops. This is kind of this isn't exactly a corset top, but it also is, and I love it. I actually did my makeup to paint <laughs> because I have an Instagram video that I want to film, and I always look so fucking bad in them, okay? <laughs> I always look so um, unkempt because I just woke up and I start painting, and I just felt like... 
I wanted to serve something. I wanted to serve something good. I also dress in corset tops and like wear tote bags and stuff um, and wear platform docks because I want people in my day-to-day -day life, like when I'm walking around, to realize that I'm a little bit fruity because it's so hard to do the little, the little lesbian dance of like realizing if someone's fruity or not unless you're literally at a gay bar. I forgot to put on mascara. I forgot to put on mascara. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Using the Sephora brand shit, it's decent. It's like, it's pretty good mascara. It's like decently affordable, that's why I use it. I think it was like $17, I don't know. It's, I usually pay less for mascara, but I was at Sephora, so I got it. I think I had a gift card actually. Um, last year for my birthday, two of my friends got me the Sephora gift card and I had like a bit of money left on it, so I picked this bitch up. Any of you guys ever do that, just like forget to put on mascara, because I do. I'm gonna do the lower ones right in the corner. I like hitting my lower lashes just on the outer corner because I shade my eyeshadow like that. I think it's really cute. Makes me look like a Bratz doll or something. I think I can leave now. I just, um, now I have the mascara on, so. Bye guys, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you drink a fuck ton of water. Yeah.